Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Saturday, the 17th of July, 2021. And we've got flash flood watches up for a large portion of our viewing area from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, extending down into Delaware and also uh, into eastern Maryland and northeastward into western and northern Connecticut and western and central Massachusetts. And uh, this is going to be coupled with uh, what is now an expanded area of risk for severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather covering much of eastern Pennsylvania, and that includes south central and southeastern Pennsylvania, uh, northeastern Maryland, northern Delaware, western and northern New Jersey, basically along and north and west of the Turnpike to about New York City, Nassau County on Long Island, western Connecticut, the Hudson Valley, and that includes areas to the northwest up into the Catskills. And as always in situations like this, when you're dealing with convective events, rainfall amounts are going to vary quite a bit. Now, there's a general forecast of anywhere from, say, half an inch to an inch and a half and a couple of places with isolated amounts a little bit higher. But it's kind of almost useless to put these amounts down uh, and look at them as absolutes. Uh, the fact that you're dealing with convection, you're dealing with thunderstorms, uh, you all know if that we get one solid thunderstorm to sit over you for a period of time, it doesn't take long to put down a couple of inches of rain. And the ground remains very saturated uh, in the Northeast and down into the Mid-Atlantic states. Uh, just uh, taking a look here, this is rainfall uh, over the next seven days, uh, over the last two weeks. And the rainfall has been substantial. The red areas are all five inches or more of rain. And bear in mind that this week, it's been a, a hot, humid week. Some areas have gotten some scattered thunderstorms. The ground still, while it might be dry or may have dried at the top levels, just beneath the, uh, the, the top of the ground, uh, the uh, ground is still very saturated. So it really isn't going to take too much to create some flash flood issues. Weather in Five, by the way, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town, omnitruevalue.com. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, also on Long Island, 631-957-5106. And the website, liholidaylighting.com. So we've been watching this cold front to the west. You can see uh, there are lots of clouds uh, back over into uh, western Pennsylvania, Ohio, and further north uh, up into, into Canada, and then east across upstate New York and northern New England. That front and the upper trough that goes with it will be pushing uh, to the east today, and that is going to set us up for showers and storms. Just want to point out also that the Storm Prediction Center inside that slight risk zone has a 2% risk of tornadoes. Now, I know that number doesn't sound very high. What that means is that there's the probability of a tornado with, within 25 miles of any point inside that area. Uh, the uh, This is not a widespread tornado outbreak being forecast, obviously. But just bear in mind, some of these thunderstorms can oftentimes spin up a quick tornado the main risk is going to be from wind and heavy rain. So uh, we're looking at a 5 to 15% risk of winds of 50 knots or higher in and around those thunderstorms. So let's look at one particular model, which has actually worked out pretty well most of the time this summer. Hasn't been perfect, but none of them have been. All of the short range models are showing thunderstorm activity this afternoon. And late this afternoon and into this evening. This is at 5 p.m. So you see the th thunderstorms breaking out across central Pennsylvania and on up uh, into uh, southern New York and across northern Connecticut. Uh, it looks like these are going to approach the coast probably after 7 or 8 o'clock. Uh, and you see these storms hold together quite well. There's a little low that develops on this cold front that's uh, generating all this convection. And of course, ahead of it today, we're going to have temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s with dew points in the 70s. So the instability of the atmosphere is very, very high. And then those storms will sort of play through. They start to weaken as they move across Long Island, and uh, then they uh, move on out 
at about 1 a.m. They're all done. So this looks like it's going to be an evening event uh, into the uh, first part of tonight so that much of the daytime today is going to be okay. Now, as far as uh, we're looking at beyond this, there's a series of these upper troughs that are going to be coming through into the northeast. The one for today is going to linger here in the east on Sunday. You can see it here whenever you see these sort of these bends, these dips like that in the jet stream. That is an upper trough. There's a big upper high out in the west where there's going to be a ton of heat uh, going on uh, in, the, uh, in the Rockies, up and down uh, the Rockies with that big upper ridge there. But during this week, we've got a series of these upper troughs. There's one on Monday. Uh, there's a, a northwest flow from Canada that's being established. And there'll be another one coming down. Here's one that approaches for Tuesday night and Wednesday. And yet another one and a stronger one that comes down for the end of the week. I think behind this particular front, we could wind up uh, getting a, at least a break in the humidity. Uh, one thing about the week ahead uh, is that uh, it's not going to be super hot. Uh, it will be uh, warm to very warm. And it is going to be somewhat humid these upper troughs coming through are going to prevent the temperatures from uh, getting too high, mainly because they come so quickly that there's not really enough time. As each front comes down, the atmosphere cools off. So there really isn't a lot of time before the next one is arriving. And as a result, you wind up uh, with uh, only a minimal warm-up in between these weather fronts approaching. So this is the GFS's look of this. This is at 8, eight o'clock tonight. You see the storms in eastern Pennsylvania. And then uh, they push on through. For Sunday, we're just going to look for some scattered showers and thunderstorms running around. That front is going to be kind of stalled out right on top of us. Uh, so that leaves the chances of storms in here. Uh, Monday, the same thing, scattered showers and storms. S definitely Sunday will probably be better than Saturday, although Sunday is going to want than today, although Sunday is going to wind up seeing uh, more clouds around. There'll probably be clouds and some sun and some showers and storms scattered around on Monday. Uh, later on Tuesday, this next front approaches, uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms with that. And then on Wednesday, at least according to the uh, GFS model, looks like this front may come through with not too much with it, but we're going to leave in the chance that there will be some showers and storms late Wednesday. And then finally on Friday, the final front comes through, and this one could generate more widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. And hopefully uh, that moves along and we get into a nice dry high to come down from eastern Canada and give us a real break in the humidity. So we do have a, a busy week ahead and certainly pay it close attention uh, to the sky and the radars late this afternoon and through the first part of tonight with these showers and thunderstorms running around. Weather in 5 brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini at, one, at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. This is whether you want to get your home decorated or maybe you want to do this as a business Give them a call and Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 as the phone number there. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. Uh, just uh, a note here. Did I save that satellite loop? I guess I, yeah, there it is. Uh, the tropics, which have gone quiet since ELSA. And this is not unusual in mid-July to see the tropics kind of take a breather. Uh, but uh, I'm expecting things to maybe start picking up as we get toward the end of the month. If you look on the lower right, you have uh, uh, what looks like a tropical wave coming off the African coast. There also appears to be one behind it. Uh, and we're going to start to see more and more of that activity. So uh, don't be surprised, uh, not in the short range, but certainly in the longer range as we get toward the end of the month and into the first part of August, we are going to start to see the tropics heat up a little bit. Uh, no Joe and Joe show today. I'll be keeping you updated on what's going on with the uh, weather later this afternoon and tonight. And of course, we will have a Joe and Joe weather show tomorrow, Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Have a great day, everybody.